church here in Lalibela, St. George's Church. Africa is the second largest continent in the world, and it is home to about 18% of the world's population. Nestled amidst the breathtaking landscapes and vibrant cultures of this vast continent, a series of discoveries have recently come to light that defies all explanation, challenging our understanding of history, science, and the very fabric of our existence. From the mysterious elephant deaths to the odd blue sky stone, here are 20 unsettling discoveries in Africa nobody can explain. Number 20. Mysterious Elephant Deaths Vatsala, the world's oldest elephant, has lived for over a hundred years, and this means that elephants have quite an impressive longevity. They can, however, die from poaching, attacks, old age, and illness. So when hundreds of elephants started to die mysteriously in the north of the Okavango Delta region, a home to 18,000 savanna elephants in Botswana, this news made global headlines. It was during the end of summer, and these elephants had to drink from stagnated water. As they drank from the water, they started to stumble, stagger, and walk in circles. Eventually, as their heavy legs weakened and struggled to take another step, they collapsed, falling to their chest first, and then dying. Forty-four elephants were confirmed dead in March 2020. By the middle of June, more than 350 carcasses scattered across the remote, roughly 3,000 square mile region. By January 2021, more than 450 mysterious deaths were recorded. This is quite a concern to conservationists. Back in 1979, there were over a million elephants in Africa, but after decades of shrinking habitat and confrontations with humans, the numbers have dropped to approximately 415,000 in recent times. Under intense international pressure, Botswana authorities discovered what was killing the animals cyanobacteria neurotoxins. They believed that this poison released by algae in blooming stagnant water was attacking the nervous system of these elephants. However, other experts feel the evidence was unreliable. If the cyanobacteria had killed the animals, why didn't other animals that drank from the same hole drop like flies? We might never have a conclusive answer to these mysterious deaths. Number 19. Bakoni Ruins the Bakoni ruins are circular mazes of stone-built homesteads and towns linked by walled roads built by the ancient Bakoni people. These ruins are found on the outskirts of the town of Machadodorp, South Africa. To much amazement, some call the enigmatic structure the Lost City of South Africa. What happened is that ancient Africans were believed to be hunter and gatherers, and this landscape suggests that the Bakoni people were agrarians but more advanced ones. This stone-walled maze with the terraced fields, homesteads, and road networks depicts the architectural advancement of these people. It is believed to have helped them manage their livestock before the era of European colonists in Africa. More so, further evidence showed that Bakoni people also practiced crop rotation. While it is highly agreed that these structures were built to enhance agricultural yields, when these structures were erected remains the subject of much debate. Some identify the stone enclosures as relatively recent, dating them to be no more than a few centuries ago. Others believe the site may have been built as far back as 200,000 years ago. As the time of construction debate continues, we must remember that these ruins scatter over a vast area of land, and some of them are yet to be uncovered. Number 18. The Blue Sky Stone Although the rare blue diamond found in South Africa is a gem, the Blue Sky Stone of Sierra Leone remains a treasure believed to have fallen from the heavens. It is bluish in color and composed largely of oxygen. The strange blue stones were obtained by Italian archaeologist Angelo Pittoni from a Fula chief in 1990. Already we knew this piece is uncommon, but when the local tribe stated that the stones were given to them by a celestial being from the sky, we knew it would be something we have never seen. Out of curiosity, on getting to Europe, Pitoni sent the stone for analysis to multiple laboratories in Rome, Germany, and Tokyo. Further analysis showed that this gemstone was made up of 77% oxygen, 20% carbon, and lime. And when viewed under a microscope, there were traces of silicone and other materials. Even when exposed to extreme heat and acid, the stone could not alter or break apart. This made researchers agree that the stone came from an alien planet. 
Truly, its carbon dating revealed that it arrived on Earth somewhere between 2,517,000 years ago. Over time, the answer to where these gems come from remains a mystery. Could they be from celestial bodies, as the local tribes said? Or are they meteorites that hold secrets of past and forgotten civilizations? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Number 17. Crazy Beast That Lived With The Dinosaurs Africa is home to a number of wildlife, but it is not common to discover one that has lived millions of years ago. But one animal not only breaks this rule, it also turns what we know about ecosystem selection on its head. The animal is Adelotherium. This opossum-sized mammal lived during the Cretaceous period, which was between 145.5 million years to 66 million years ago. Little is known about this creature until the discovery of its fossilized skeleton in 1991. Its skeleton indicated that Adelotherium is about 66 million year old and belongs to an extinct group of mammals called Gondwanatheria, first discovered in the 1980s. So when its bony structures were placed under an in-depth study, researchers described the creature as having had muscular hind limbs like a crocodile's, powerful front legs, rabbit-like front teeth, and odd back teeth that look completely unlike those of any other known mammal. It also had an unusual space between the bones at the top of its snout and more trunk vertebrae than most mammals we know of. What makes this more intriguing is the animal's bizarre appearance. Its muscular legs and big claws on the back feet imply that it was a powerful digger, but its front legs were less brawny, which makes scientists believe that this creature was a fast runner. Although this whole thing has scientists scratching their heads, Adelotherium remains an important piece in a very large puzzle on early mammalian evolution in the Southern Hemisphere. And unfortunately, it might take a while before we can finally discover the secrets of this elusive beast. Number 16. The Skeletal Coast Africa may be a culturally diverse and wealthy region, but there is also a part of it called the Skeletal Coast, dubbed the Gate of Hell, or the land God made in anger. It's the northern part of Namibia's Atlantic Ocean, where rough seas and rough desert meet. The coast derives its eerie name from the thousands of skeletal remains of whales, seals, and rusting shipwrecks that are scattered all along the coastline, which makes this a highly inhospitable area. Also on its coast, the Benguela Current causes thick ocean fog throughout the year that makes navigation extremely difficult. This coast stretches between 976 miles and flows through the Kuneni River and Swakop River in Namibia. This area also sees minimal rainfall of no more than 0.39 inches or 10 millimeters per year, making it difficult to get ashore through the surf but impossible to leave through it, at least not until the advent of engine-powered machines. So, the best way to get out of this skeletal coast is to ride hundreds of miles of marsh with access through a scorching and arid desert. Number 15. Giraffes with Crooked Necks As we all know, giraffes stand out from other animals because of their long necks. They need their long necks to reach foliage and compete with other animals for food during drought. The necks of most giraffes are about 6 feet long and weigh about 600 pounds, even though they are so long, they only have seven vertebrae in them just like us. Since we know what a giraffe neck looks like, when we see one that is different, we just know there is something wrong. A 36 years old, Philip Briggs from Amboseli in Kenya, in one of his visits to Chiyulu Hills, a mountain range in Makueni County in southeastern Kenya there, he found a fully grown giraffe with an abnormal neck. But the animal seems unbothered by its unusual features. A lot of people debate why the giraffe has a bent neck. While some conservationists said it might have sustained an injury at a young age, others suggest it might have developed scoliosis, which means a sideways curvature of the spine. However, this Chulu Hills giraffe is not the only one with a kinked neck. Amali, an 11 feet tall, 5-year-old female giraffe being transported from Ohio's wilds to Tulsa, Oklahoma intended to breed with a male at the Painton Zoo, was discovered by zoo authorities to have a curved neck, an injury sustained during the haulage. Though it seemed not to have been a problem at first, concerned zoo staff had hoped its neck would resolve as the calf grew, but it became more apparent over some time. Despite the emergency treatment it received from equine surgeons and radiologists at the zoo, 
She died shortly after being sedated for an X-ray procedure. Number 14. Python Worship In Africa alone, there are 500 of the total 3,500 species of snakes in the world. This makes Africa home of snakes. That might sound awkward if the only idea you have about snakes is that they are mere elongated and venomous reptiles. If you are this type, you should be prepared for a culture shock in Africa, as python worship spreads across this entire continent. Northwestern Botswana houses one of the most interesting python worshippers, known as the Sand Tribes. These locals have been practicing snake worship for a while. To them, these creatures are the sole creators of mankind. Underneath one of the hills found in the tribe's forest, archaeologists also found a cave with a small chamber. In it, they found a two meters tall rock with a serpent shape around it. These archaeologists found arrowheads taken from hundreds of kilometers away, believed to have been sacrificed to the serpent. Also, dating shows the practice to be around 70,000 years old. Botswana is not alone. Legend also has it that the ancient king of Uida, Benin Republic, during a tribal war, ran into the forest where he was protected by certain pythons who prevented his enemies from capturing him. As a way of thanks, he constructed the Temple du Python in the Uida Kingdom. This sacred temple today is dedicated to the worship of over 40 to 70 pythons. Number 13. Mysterious Metal Monolith it isn't unusual for people to be scared whenever they see strange and unexplainable objects. That may be the case when hundreds of people stormed the mysterious metal monolith which suddenly appeared on a roundabout in Kinshasa, the capital of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The monolith, which appeared in 2021, is a 12-feet triangular prism that looks like other metal monoliths that have cropped up around the world over the last couple of years. However, when the Congolese spotted this object, they were curious to know what was inside. This curiosity led them to destroy the monolith and were only disappointed to see no sinister in it. You see, this is not the first country where monolithic sites were recorded. One monolith appeared in Utah in 2016 in the United States, and over five monolithics have appeared in the United Kingdom, including one on the Isle of Wight. These metal objects have created a stir of late, especially with science fiction fans. While some of these monoliths' origins have been traced, the question of where the Kinshasa monolithic comes from remains a mystery. Number 12. The Mysterious Nubian Stone Tablets Archaeologists in Africa have recovered the largest collection of texts in the mysterious language of the Kushites, the local language of Sudan. The artifact was recovered from a site in Sedinga in Sudan, known as the City of the Dead, as it contains the ruins of a temple dedicated to the 14th century BCE, Egyptian Queen Tai, the grandmother of Tutankhamun, the pharaoh who ruled Egypt from 1332 to 1323 BC. Though little information remains about the kingdom of Kush, the funerary items tell a lot. The large stone contains remains of at least 80 brick pyramids and 100 tombs, it is from these tombs that the artifacts were recovered by a research team led by the French National Center for Scientific Research in collaboration with the French Archaeological Uni, Sudan Antiquities Service. What they found was odd. They found tombs, lintels, and steels, a type of tablet stone used as a commemorative monument. The texts were written in Meroitic, the oldest writing system of the sub-Saharan region. While some of these texts were almost completely translated, others are yet to be translated, because every text in the tablets sheds light on something entirely strange. Number 11. Mysterious Cave Art In the remote southwest corner of Egypt and southeast Libya, there lies the Gilf Kebir, a plateau nicknamed the Great Barrier. This is 3,000 square miles of sandstone roughly the size of Puerto Rico. What makes this site iconic is not its extremely dry conditions as it is now, but that it is a great desert of monument findings. Especially in 1933, when Laszlo Almazi, a Hungarian adventurer on his expedition to the western side of Gilf Kabir, found a wadi or a dry valley with acacia trees and patches of dry grass. But then he also stumbled on something else, the mysterious cave art. Laszlo was accompanied by Austrian writer Richard Berman, and their findings showed that the art contained a series of interesting cave paintings, including figures of animals and black painted men with red hair. 
Though Laszlo was not the first to find painting like this in this region, this time he made a truly momentous find. In the Valley of Paintings, hand axes were found. This is indicative of the cave artist's hunter-gatherer lifestyle in the grassy landscape. And after, archaeologists traced the genesis of the paintings to have existed between 9,000 and 600,000 years ago during the African humid period, a time when the desert was filled with water. Although Laszlo's hunch that the Sahara was a water-filled environment proved correct, modern researchers suggest the cave images depict not swimmers, but something more symbolic like floating spirits or even dreams recorded by the Stone Age dwellers of the region. Number 10. Half Human, Half Dog A lot of awe-inspiring things have been discovered in South Africa, but the alleged half human, half dog is definitely on the wrong side of this spectrum. Someone captured footage in 2017 showing dogs on parade. There were about three of them in total, and two of them were 100% dogs, but for the third one, most people weren't sure what it was. It sort of looked like a dog, but it also looked more like a man on all fours. This being was seen running around on multiple occasions, and many residents had reported seeing it. The general consensus is that it was a half-human, half-dog. How is that even possible? It may probably be a dog with a minor leg problem, but this wasn't the first time it was seen. In 2021, a man said he had nightmares and was terrified for a month after being stalked by a half-human, half-dog monster in the Australian outback. The man who gave his name as John was fishing in the bush when the creature stalked him from the riverbank. He took a photo of it and spoke with a few people who identified it as the Dog Man. Prior to this, stories of half-human, half-dog dated back to 1887 in the United States in Michigan. Number 9. Clerksdorp Spheres Clerksdorp's spheres are quite phenomenal. They are disc-shaped or spherical objects that miners and rockhounds found in Ottosdal, South Africa, in a three billion years old pyrophyllite deposits. At a glance, this object's uniqueness is what many pseudoscientists have concluded are out-of-place artifacts made by intelligent beings and not believed to be man-made. Geologists further believe that these spheres were formed as a result of natural processes, Generally, the spheres are between 0.20 to 3.94 inches in diameter, and they are either flattened or well-defined disc-shaped. After petrographic and X-ray diffraction analyses, it has been revealed that they consist of hematite or wollastonite, and some with some hematite and gothite. Most of the spheres are brownish in color, while some are plain red or dusky red. Some appeared to be harder than steel, having a bizarre look like cricket balls, so it's weird that they are made in nature. Meanwhile, geologists say they are formed in volcanic sediments or ash, sometimes with both grooves on them. Number 8. Eye of the Sahara Nature is a beautiful thing. Just look at the eye of the Sahara, also called the Richat structure. It is a symmetrical dome made of sedimentary and volcanic rocks in the Sahara Desert of Mauritania. It spans an impressive 50 kilometers in diameter and is thought to have been formed by erosion and uplift, making it one of the largest and most spectacular geological formations on the planet. The center of the structure stands at more than 600 feet above the desert footing, and it's surrounded by a series of valleys and crests, giving it a giant bullseye appearance. These symmetrical ratified rocks have intrigued scientists and explorers for decades. These people believe that the exposed igneous rock inside the structure made up of a spectacular array of rhyolite and gabbro rocks, which had undergone hydrothermal alteration, created its stunning concentric rings appearance. But damn, this is one enigmatic structure that has drawn speculation to be the lost city of Atlantis, especially one mentioned in the ancient texts of Plato, a Greek philosopher. Some argue this to be a man-made carved object, Anyone would think that because this is just beyond captivating, but majorly it could belong to the remains of a forgotten lost civilization. Number 7. Fairy Circles The fairy circles are large circular formations without vegetation, surrounded by grass rings covering a vast area of the Namib Desert, the harshest and most ancient area of Namibia. The size of these odd structures varies from 3 to 20 meters in diameter and can survive for up to 70 years a natural phenomenon that for decades has stunned experts. Millions of these patches spread across 1,100 miles of the arid grassland of this part of the world. 
Over the years, there have been many theories to explain these circles' origin. A theory proposed that the presence of the fairy circles is the work of termites. Termites eat plant toxins and eat away grasses from the circled spots starting from the roots. Some other researchers speculate that plants surrounding the ring struggle for the scarce water available in the desert. The circular patches retain water which then flows to the outer edges of the rings and allows grass to grow. These circles have remained controversial and popular tourist attraction sites for visitors who want to explore and appreciate the work of nature. Number 6. Baobab Tree Well, we all love trees, but of all the trees to love the most, the baobab should be at the top of your list. This African treasure can grow up to 82 feet tall with a 46-foot wide trunk. If it's your first time seeing the baobab, you will easily believe that the devil plucked up the tree, thrust its branches into the earth, and left its roots in the air. But it's not their size or appearance that makes them special. They have more than 300 uses, which is why many call them the tree of life. Its edible leaves can be boiled like spinach, giving you plenty of iron. You can also roast the seeds, make oil from them, or use them for cosmetic products. Also, the roasted seed can be a perfect coffee substitute. The fruit pulp from the tree has six times more vitamin C than your average orange. Alternatively, this fruit pulp can be made into juice, fermented into beer, or turned into jam. For the young seedlings, you can take the tap root and chew them like carrots, use them to make dye and eat the flowers. Nothing seems to be a waste from the tree. The bark is an excellent material for creating goods like baskets and ropes. They likewise provide shade and serve as an important source of income for local communities. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. After hundreds of elephants died in Botswana, we thought we had seen everything. Unfortunately, locals in a remote area alerted the authorities about the death of an unknown animal species. Do you think there are other animal species in Africa that have come into contact with cyanobacteria or other neurotoxins? Can you identify these species? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Number 5. Ancient Stone Tools Archaeologists have dug up the excavation site in Nyayanga on the Homa Peninsula in western Kenya. And what they found were some of the ancient stone tools ever used by human ancestors. Believed to be over 3.3 million years old, these tools were used by early mammals, not just the Homo sapiens. Archaeologists believe that the set of ancestors who used these sophisticated tools used them to butcher hippos and pound plant materials like tubers and fruit. At the site, 330 Oldowan stone tools were found along with two big stout molars belonging to the Paranthropus genus that had combined ape-like and human-like traits. These ancient tools helped correct history, as researchers earlier thought the Oldowan tools were only used by the ancestors of Homo sapiens. Number 4. Floating Villages It's weird when people picture a floating village as something to do with a flood or other catastrophic natural disaster. In fact, floating villages are quite common in Africa, and honestly they are found almost in all West Africa, with the most notable ones found in Ghana, Nigeria, and Benin. When people live around places with very little dry land, they simply improvise by building their houses on stilts, serving as support for buildings above the ground level, while they go on with their business by boat without worries about their homes washing away because they are built up high. One renowned float village is Ganvi. Ganvi, situated in southern Benin, is home to about 45,000 people making it the largest floating village in the middle of Lake Nokue and the largest float village in Africa. No wonder Ganvi villagers are often nicknamed watermen, and the area itself often called the Venice of Africa. The general consensus among Ganvi people is that the Tonifu people, the first dwellers and builders of this village, existed some 500,000 years ago. This tribe initially lived on land, but fled to the lake, to escape the powerful force of the Dahomey tribe. Number three, Africa is splitting apart. Africa is undergoing a remarkable geological transformation. This transformation will lead East Africa moving away from the rest of the continent. It's mind boggling. This splitting is caused by the Earth's mantle, which is gradually pulling the continent apart and creating a massive rift valley, known as the East African Rift System, that stretches through several African continents like Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia,
the Democratic Republic of Congo, Malawi, and Zambia. This system will cause the African plate to split into two, which will then become a small Somalian plate and the larger Nubian plate. In 2004, it was confirmed that these two plates are already moving apart in millimeters per year. And in just 5 to 10 million years, there will be a huge ocean between them and Africa will lose its eastern part. Number 2. Lalibela Lovers of architectural designs will be blown away by the site and town of Lalibela in Ethiopia's Amhara region. This little town is world famous for its monolithic churches carved out of a living rock. The church is an ancient building that portrays the post-medieval Ethiopia civilization. This was when Ethiopia adopted Christianity in the early part of the 4th century, and they were one of the first nations to do so. Though it was in the 7th to 13th century that church came to Ethiopia, now the rock-hewn churches are one of the most recognized world heritage sites. Atop the church is Biete Georgis, a cross-shaped structure completely detached from the surrounding rock. The mere sight of this ancient church from its outer hollowed shape to its echoed internal structure gives a calming feel. Number 1. Quenang Ruins Quenang Ruins tells an extraordinary story of a long-lost city. The ruins were about 18 miles south of Johannesburg and believed to have been a thriving metropolis from around the 15th century. Experts said habitants abandoned the settlement in the 1820s when civil wars broke out, which is the alleged reason why this society didn't last. The ruins were covered by dense vegetation, which makes it difficult to be detected. But in the 1960s, archaeologists used aerial imagery to map it out. While in 2012 to 2014, Google Earth satellite imagery was used. And in 2015, the latest LiDAR was used to map it out with laser pulses. Advanced technology helped them to detect the ground and interfering objects and vegetations. The LiDAR survey showed that most of the southern part was covered in vegetation, while the northern part was more exposed. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.